Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Treasure Corals. It has been a hot second since my last video and a lot has changed since then. Uh, we're really gonna geek out today about uh, polyp extension. This is just a little preview. This is what I'm dealing with right now. So how about them apples? But before we start with, um, I guess, <clears throat> overall polyp extension saga, um, a quick update. As posted, I have shut down a few of my tanks. If you recall from the past, I had a, the sump was fully packed with coral. It's no longer active. I've also shut down this tank behind me, um, or I guess in front of me. Um, so this one is empty now. And this tank is going to be out very, very quickly. As you can see, there's pretty much nothing left here. Uh, but there is a few fish and I've been primarily keeping it because of the fish. I think the plan is to try and introduce uh, this purple tank into this tank over here. Uh, I do have another purple tank right here, but I'm willing to uh, give it a try. This is a six foot by three feet tank. Uh, there's lots of place here. So if you think it's a very bad idea, let me know. I also am going to be placing this uh, Desjardini self in over to my experience tank, um, so the big one, and see if they can kind of maybe hook up. Again, if it's a bad idea, let me know. And finally, this is the clown tank. Clown tank is gonna go into this farm over here, and I don't foresee any issues for this guy. There's nobody here that will uh, be going after him. Another really cool thing um, that I now have is um, in my quarantine, well, let's actually take a look at the quarantine system right over here. Uh, there is a um, blue throat female triggerfish. So for the longest time, I've had the other triggerfish, uh, the male. And finally, some of you have inspired me to bring the uh, female in there as well. So that's the plan for uh, next week. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do a whole video about this and I wanna introduce it into the tank. But now, as promised, let's geek out on, I guess, the star of the show. This tank has been up and running for quite some time and it's been through ups and downs, but I think this is kind of the best it has ever been. I don't wanna jinx anything, but we're gonna have a full top down view and also side view. Um, the way I've laid it out is there's lots of little mini frags and the soon to be colonies that I've just kind of laid out here. And then uh, there's a bigger colonies at the top and then the frags are over to the right side. And keep in mind that all of these frags are available if you are in GTA, I actually ship the same day and you know there's a free shipping all of this stuff um, so it's, it's really cool uh, check out my torch and uh, gold hammer collection right over here so there's some cool 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 stuff uh, going on so lots of frags again today I'm not I'm gonna talk less about the frags and more all about the rest of the corals but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek on what I have been cooking over here Again, keep in mind everything that she's here is kind of under daylight. So this is the worst it's actually ever going to look. When things are blue, is just insane. But I wanted to show, I actually like to observe the tank under daylight because it kind of shows all of the issues that one might have in the tank. And speaking of issues, well, you be the judge, but look at the polyp extension on some of the corals. My absolute favorite coral uh, as a flate has been this uh, shapeshifter. That guy is, just want to say, it's, it's insane. The colors don't do justice. This is right next to the home record junior, but in my opinion, this is the best coral I think I've, I've, I've kept. Just, it's got these gold polyps insane coloration, insane um, kind of 
addition of sp splash of color into the tank. Look at the orange passion over here. That's pretty cool as well. This is my Walt Disney right over here. Vivid Confetti, Rainbow Delight. I really like Princess Peach. This has been really cool. Uh, my Fox, uh, Fox Flame, I guess, uh, Jason Fox. And this one has been really, really cool. This is my uh, Enigma. That guy has been quite something. I love the pulp extension on uh, him. And some of the corals I've picked up at the last coral show. Um, this one, I believe it's Mardi Gras. But there's no way it had the same polyp extension when I got it. And guess where we are right now? It's bonkers. Look at this guy over here. Unfortunately, I haven't cleaned the glass, but it's got some crazy colors. Again, a lot of those tenues have to be admired under the blue light. But I wanted something that... We'll kind of show you a little bit more of the um, the true colors, so to speak. And you know what? I will see if I can adjust the coloration to maybe bring out a little bit more blue. So you can actually see some of the pop uh, over here. And I will talk about polyp extension then. Okay, so now we are in the blue zone. And let's... Let's geek out on some of the colors here. Isn't that nice? That's it's pretty cool in my book. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I I think I'm pretty mesmerized with uh, with this coral. And let's take a look at uh, my shape shifter right over here. Like this is what I was talking about. Look at that gold color. It's pretty pretty insane if you think about it. This is Walt Disney and Orange Passion. You've got another Walt Disney right over here. Uh, the Orange Passion over here. So just look at that, those colors. That is pretty, pretty cool and should make quite a difference compared to the same corals under the white light. Uh, I think this is Bill Murray right over there and uh, Vivid Confetti, uh, you know, you name it, like all of those guys are here. Look at this guy, again, really cool. And, and then this guy, actually, you know what, all of them are quite spectacular. So what did I do it differently like what explains all of this polyp extension now in the tank that's a very good question and i will say hold on let me just turn off the uh, flow here okay i will say that um the big one was stability of the tank i have been using um my trusty um, aqua whiz right over there to make sure that my alkalinity was just stable 8.0 all the time so it hasn't drifted in the summer uh, in the winter uh, day night you name it like it's just rock steady so this has really helped another thing that I did uh, was I simplified the flow I only I actually removed a bunch of pumps. So there's only two pumps on the left and two pumps on the right, and then there is the orbit. But the way I have structured it is the, it's in the wave mode. So there is two pumps that create the pulse, um, I guess, from both sides. So the water in the tank is always kind of doing the wave action. And then I have only one orbit right over here, AI, that runs every 30 seconds. So for 30 seconds, it just blows the water across and then um, it turns off for 30 seconds. And you know what? This has really worked for me um, when it comes to this. I also um, have not introduced any new frags in, you know, in ages and everything here that you see, I grow from tiny frags and I've done 
so much of quarantining and you know all the interceptor stuff and whatnot. So I did not see any issues even before, but I guess that also helped. Um, but the polyp extension is insane. Everybody is super happy, and I think those are the the key things. I think the flow, uh, not you know blasting everything with light, but just a good amount of light, uh, feeding a lot, and um, stable alkalinity, to me, that um, did the trick. But I must say that it took several months to see it. So it was not happening overnight. Even when I had all the parameters, everything else that I'm talking about, everything was in tune and um, just the way it's supposed to be, it was not enough and I was still having major, major um, issues with the polyp extension. That's why I did a bunch of videos. And then at some point, it just kind of flipped. But even then, you know, some guys are have the polyps out, or this sunset right here, but then have another melee, and, and this one doesn't seem to have uh, the polyps out. I don't really move things around, I could, but I've just been mostly observing the tank and seeing where things are at, and that was good enough for me. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, or maybe that I'm missing something, but this is a quick video for you to um, just see how much I've progressed over the summer. I uh, can't wait till the fall, and uh, this is where I think hopefully I'm going to be spending even more tank uh, time on my tank. But having said that, if you are in GTA, go to treasurecorals.com. Um, actually, I ship all across Canada, but you know, GTA you can just kind of get it the same day or, or do a local pickup. But uh, I ship everywhere um, across Canada and. Uh, I'm running a special right now on AquaWiz where you get it um, shipped for free uh, wherever you are in Canada. So there you go. See you next time. Hope you had a great summer and uh, next video is going to be all about my main tank. Cheers.